Now we continue with the five transporting points according to the seasons of and five elements, part two. Furthermore, the tonification or draining drainage character of a point is very often overridden by its other characteristics. So that the rule of tonifying and draining according to tonification and draining points suffer many exceptions. For example, heart nine, PC9 are tonification points but are more often used for draining instead in acute cases by virtue of there being the well points. Heart 7 is the drainage point but is more often used to tonify the heart blood to nourish the mind. L11 is the tonification point but it also pulls blood and releases the exterior and is by its very nature a draining point. Spleen 2 is the tonification point but would not be the most indicated point to tonify the spleen as spleen 3, REN 12, stomach 36, and bladder 20 would be much better for this purpose. Spleen 2 is on the contrary is often used in fibril diseases to clear heat and promote sweating. Bladder 67 is the tonification point, but again, owing to its being a well point, is often used to drain in acute cases or also to subdue rising chi, which is causing headaches. Apart from being applied in the theory of tonification and drainage point, the five element points are also used in another very common way to eliminate pathogenic factors. There is a correspondence between the five elements and pathogenic factors. Wood corresponds to wind, fire corresponds to heat or fire, earth corresponds to dampness, metal corresponds to dryness, water corresponds to cold. In accordance with this correspondence, the five element points can be used to expel the relevant pathogenic factors, whether exterior or in interior. The only exception is the metal point, which is not used to eliminate dryness. The reason for this lies in the very nature of dryness. While heat, fire, wind, dampness, and cold are pathogenic factors that manifest as an excess pattern, dryness manifests as a deficiency of the body fluid. And the way to correct this is by nourishing fluids rather than by expelling dryness. The application of this correspondence between the five element and pathogenic factor is commonly used in excess pattern to eliminate the relevant pathogenic factor. It also applies rather more to yin than yang channel, but not exclusively. This method of using the element points to expel the relevant pathogenic factors can be applied to some of the points of yang channel too. In particular, some of the wood points are used to subdue interior wind, such as small intestine tree. Other wood young points are used to expel exterior wind in painful obstruction syndrome. And some of the fire points are used to clear heat, such as LI5 and stomach 41. Correlation between the element points and pathogenic factors. Wood element, the point is yin channel wood points, yang channel wood points. The pathogenic factor is wind. The use is to extinguish internal wind, acute states of wind stroke, expel exterior wind in painful obstruction syndrome. For the element of fire, the point is heart 8, lung 10, pericardium 8, liver 2, spleen 2, kidney 2, LI5, small intestine 5, stomach 41, and the pathogenic factor is heat or fire. The use is to expel summer heat or drains heart fire, expel wind heat or clears lung heat, expel summer heat or drains heart fire, drains liver fire, clears heat in fibril diseases, clears empty heat, cools blood, Clears heat in large intestine and damp heat in painful obstruction syndrome. Resolves damp heat in painful obstruction syndrome. Clears stomach heat and damp heat in painful obstruction syndrome. For the earth element, the points heart 7, PC7, lung 9, 
spleen 3, liver 3, kidney 3, stomach 36, GB 34, bladder 40, LI 11, small intestine 8, triple burner 10. It is for the dampness and phlegm, not used to resolve phlegm, resolve phlegm from heart, resolve phlegm from lungs, resolve dampness, resolve dampness, not used to resolve phlegm, resolve dampness, resolve dampness in upper burner, resolve dampness in upper burner, okay? For the water element, we use heart 3, PC3, lung 5, liver 8, spleen 9, and kidney 10. Uh, this is for the cold, not used to expel cold. PC3 is not used to expel cold. Lung 5, expel cold from the lungs. Liver 8, expel damp cold from lower burner. Uh, spleen 9, expel damp cold from lower burner. And kidney 10, expel damp cold from lower burner. Thank you for your attention. Let us now continue with the source points, this time featuring LI4. LI4 is located on the radial aspect of the hand between the first and second metacarpal bones, closer to the second metacarpal bone and approximately at its midpoint. How to find? When pressing the thumb and index finger together, the adductor pollicis and the interosseous dorsalis muscles will form a bulge. Needle LI4 at the highest point of the bulge and push it further towards the inferior aspect of the second metacarpal bone. Or spread the thumb and forefinger and place the distal phalanx of the thumb of the other hand on the webbed border. When flexing the thumb, its tip will point to LI4. Or insertion on the angle bisector between the first and second metacarpal bones needling in the direction of the midpoint of the second metacarpal bone. Needling, 0.5 to 1 soon vertically or slightly obliquely towards the palmar aspect of the hand. Caution, reducing needle techniques are contraindicated during pregnancy. Exception, to induce labor. Actions or indications, LA4 releases the exterior. So this is actually the main point for releasing the exterior. Regulates face and head, regulates defensive chi or wei chi and sweating, opens the channel and luo connecting vessels, alleviates pain, promotes labor. Special features, Yuan source point, Kao Wu command point for the head and mouth, Madanyang heavenly star point, entry point according to some authors. The most important analgesic point for the whole body. The most important single distal point for disorders of the face and sensory organs. It is the most commonly used point in clinical practice. The combined bilateral needling of LI4 and liver 3, which is between the second and third metatarsal bones, is known as the four gates. They strongly regulate the chi and blood, stop pain, and relieve spasms. LI4 is the main point to expel wind heat and to release the exterior. LI4 also has a strong direct sphere of influence on the face, so that in exterior invasions, it is used to relieve nasal congestion, sneezing, burning eyes. LI4 regulates sweating and defensive chi in the space between skin and muscles, so that it can be used both to stop and to promote sweating in exterior invasions of wind. To promote sweating, LI4 is tonified and kidney 7 drained vice versa, to stop sweating. LI4 also stimulates the diffusing of lung chi, which explains its strong action in releasing the exterior and expelling exterior wind so that it would be used for nasal congestion, sneezing, cough, stiff neck, aversion to cold, floating pulse. That is the beginning stages of a common cold, influenza, or many other exterior diseases. As LI4 stimulates the diffusing of lung chi, it makes it useful to relieve the symptoms of allergic rhinitis. LI4 has a powerful calming and antispasmodic action so that it can be used in many painful conditions, both in the channels and in the organs, and especially the stomach, intestines, and uterus. 
It is also widely used as a distal point in painful obstruction syndrome of the arm or shoulder since it removes obstructions from the channel. Since LA4 has a strong direct influence on the face and eyes, ears, nose, and mouth, it is often used as a distal point when treating problems of the face, including mouth, nose, ears, and eyes, such as allergic rhinitis, conjunctivitis, mouth ulcers, sty, sinusitis, epistaxis, toothache, trigeminal neuralgia, facial paralysis, and frontal headaches. There is a saying in Chinese medicine, the face and mouth are reached by LI4. LI4 is an important distal point for facial problems, such as deviation of eye and mouth following windstroke, peripheral facial paralysis, and trigeminal neuralgia. It is sometimes combined with liver 3, and the combination is called four gates to expel interior or exterior wind from the head and to stop pain. Although the combination of the four gates is widely used in the West to calm the mind, Chinese books actually do not mention this action. LI4 influences the mind and can be used to soothe the mind and allay anxiety, particularly if combined with liver 3 and with Do24 and GB13. Although it is not often used in this way, LI4 can also be used as a tonifying point rather than in its more common use as a draining one. Combined with other points, LI4 can tonify chi and consolidate the exterior or strengthen the defensive chi. It would be combined with stomach 36 and REM6. This treatment could be used for chronic allergic rhinitis owing to lung chi deficiency and weakness of the exterior energetic layers, that is the defensive chi, which make the person prone to chronic attacks of wind. This treatment would only be suitable in between attacks to strengthen chi and the exterior in order to reinforce the defensive chi to repel wind. LI4 can harmonize the ascending of yang and descending of yin. This means that it can be used to subdue ascending rebellious chi, such as ascending stomach chi, lung chi, or liver chi, or to raise chi when it is sinking, such as spleen chi sinking. Thus, in the former case, it can be used to subdue stomach chi in epigastric pain, liver yang rising in migraine, especially combined with liver 3, or lung chi in asthma. In the latter case, it could be used to raise the spleen chi, especially in combination with REM6. However, this last use is not common. LA4 is an empirical point to promote delivery during labor, hence its contraindication in pregnancy. To summarize, LI4 expels exterior wind, so it's very effective for colds, upper respiratory infections, and influenza beginning stages. Regulates sweating, benefits eyes, ears, nose, and mouth. Distal point for all problems of the face. Combined with liver three, the four gates, to expel exterior wind, extinguish interior wind, and calm the mind. Regulates ascending or descending of chi, hence subdues rebellious chi in the head. Good for allergic rhinitis, empirical point to promote labor, calms the mind, forbidden in pregnancy. Thank you very much for your attention. Let's continue our discussion on the connecting or the Lubu points. And for today, we'll discuss lung seven. Okay. Lung 7 is located on the radial aspect of the forearm, directly above the styloid process of the radius, approximately 1.5 tune proximal to the wrist joint space or the wrist crease in a V-shaped groove. So how to find this point? Uh, we place a, the palpating forefinger on the anatomical snuff box, which is LI5. And then from there, glide proximally over the styloid process of the radius and locate lung seven, where the finger can palpate a cleft between the two tendons, the brachial radialis and the adductor pollicis longus. Or we use the tiger mouth grip as shown in the figure at the left. Um, we 
spread the thumb and forefinger on both hands, crossing them so that the forefinger of one hand comes to rest on the styloid process of the other, but avoiding bending the wrist. Um, long seven is located directly below the tip of the forefinger in a V-shaped -shape, groove. To needle long seven, we lift the skin above the styloid process by pinching it. And then we insert the needle 0.5 to 1 chin obliquely and proximally in reducing or distally in tonifying. We observe caution in needling this point to avoid hitting the cephalic vein. Uh, for its actions and indications, lung 7 supports the occiput and the head, releases the exterior, expels wind, descends the lung chi. It opens and regulates the renmai, regulates the water passages, and opens the channel in the loop connecting channels and alleviates pain. As for its special features, uh, lung seven is the loop connecting point of the lung channel. It opens, it's the opening point of the renmai, the Madan Yang heavenly star point, the Gaowu command point of the occiput and the exit point. Lung seven is an extremely important point. It is a major point to release the exterior in invasions of exterior wind cold or wind heat. This point contributes to the elimination of pathogenic factors by stimulating the descending and diffusing of lung chi, thus releasing the lung defensive chi portion and stimulating sweating. The lungs control the space between the skin and the muscle where the defensive chi circulates and spread fluids all over the skin. The use of this point with reducing method will stimulate the circulation of the defensive chi and open the pores to cause sweating. Here is an illustration of the areas affected by lung seven. First, we have the towel space, the nose, the face and head, the shoulder, the throat, bladder, large intestine, and finally shen and poor. Lung 7 is therefore used in the beginning stages of the common cold or influenza with sneezing, stiff neck, headache, aversion to cold, fever, and a floating pulse. In treating exterior invasions of wind cold or wind heat, it is often combined with lung with Li4 as they both release the exterior. This combination is called guest host as the connecting channel of the lungs, uh, which is the guest, joins with the large intestine channel, which is the host. Because of the lungs connection with the nose, lung seven is used to treat sneezing, nasal obstruction, runny nose, and loss of the sense of smell. In all these cases, it would be combined with Li20. As this promotes the diffusing of lung chi and opens the nose, it is also an important point in the treatment of allergic rhinitis. Far from being used only in exterior patterns, lung seven has a very wide ranging energetic action in interior patterns too. It is the best point on the lung channel to stimulate the descending of lung chi. And it is therefore a very important point to use in all types of cough or asthma, whether acute or chronic. Lung seven is also one of the best points to affect the face and head and can be used in combination with other points to direct the effect of the treatment of face and head. Because of this, it is very frequently used in headaches. Lung seven is a very important point from the psychological and emotional point of view and can be used in emotional problems caused by worry, grief, or sadness. Lung seven is particularly indicated in cases which the person bears his or her problems in silence and keeps them inside. Lung seven tends to stimulate a beneficial outpouring of repressed emotions. Weeping is the sound associated with the lungs according to the five elements, 
And those who have been suppressing their emotions may burst out crying when this point is used or shortly after. Tendency to crying is listed as a prominent indication for lung seven in the explanation of the acupuncture points. The lungs are the residence of the corporeal soul. And this point will release the emotional tensions of the corporeal soul manifesting in a physical level with tense shoulders, shallow breathing, and a feeling of oppression in the chest. These symptoms are often due to excessive worrying over a long period of time, preventing the free breathing of the corporeal soul in constraining the lung energy. Lung seven will calm the mind, settle the corporeal soul, open the chest, and release tension. Being the connecting point, it is very useful and effective in trauma problems of the large intestine and lung channels. It is often used as a distal point for painful obstruction syndrome of the shoulder if the problem is along the large intestine channel. In these cases, lung seven is often used on the opposite side to where the problem is. As lung seven opens the directing vessel or the renmai, some of its indications are for problems following labor and problems of the external genitalia. Its effect in promoting the expulsion of lachia or a dead, dead, dead fetus is also related to its action of stimulating the descending chi. However, as indicated in chapter 52, the open extraordinary vessel, both the opening and coupled points, um, which is lung seven and kidney six are used. In conjunction with kidney six, it opens the directing vessel, stimulates the descending of lung chi and the kidney function of receiving chi. Because of, because of this, it is beneficial in chronic asthma from lung and kidney deficiency. The combination of lung seven and kidney six nourishes yin, regulates the uterus and the menstrual function, benefits the throat and moistens the eyes. It is excellent for a dry and sore throat deriving from yin deficiency. The lungs are indirectly related to the bladder and control the water passages. Lung seven is the main point on the lung channel to affect the lung function of opening the water passages. It, is there, it therefore can be used in edema of the face or urinary retention in excess patterns when an exterior pathogenic factor obstructs the descending of lung chi. This results in lung chi being unable to open the water passages and connect with the bladder. In this case, it is needled with reducing method. Lung seven is also effective in urinary retention of the, of the empty type when deficient lung chi fails to descend and communicate with the bladder. This gives rise to urinary retention of the deficiency type and is particularly common in the elderly. In this case, it is dealt with the reinforcing method. Interesting promote the descending lung chi. We also promote testing of clear chi to the heart and head. For this reason, it is used for poor memory, palpitations, propensity to inappropriate laughter, crying, and frequent yawning to fear of the future rise to the heart and so that the mind and Suffer. The explanation of the acupuncture points specifically says in forgetfulness due to insufficient rising of chi, reinforce the seven to promote the ascending of chi. Lung chi also communicates with the large intestine and it provides the chi necessary for the act of defecation. When lung chi is weak, it may fail to communicate with the large intestine and constipation ensues. This constipation is of the deficient type and is common in old people. 
It is characterized by difficulty in passing stools or passing them with great strain and feeling exhausted afterwards. In these cases, lung seven will tonify lung chi and help it help it to reach the large intestine to give it strength for the act of defecation. Uh, the combinations lung seven and stomach 40 are used frequently, often on opposite sides. Uh, for example, lung seven on the left and stomach 40 on the right or vice versa. This combination can resolve phlegm from the lungs as both this point affects the chest and lung seven regulates the water passages and resolves phlegm by making chi descend while stomach 40 opens the chest and resolves phlegm in general. These combinations are, is simply used to open the chest when there is stagnation of chi from emotional stress. So to, to summarize, lung chi releases the exterior to expel exterior wind. wind um, it is also used in sneezing in allergic rhinitis. Uh, affect the head for headache. It treats the effects of worry, sadness, and grief. Lung seven affects menstruation. Uh, it is used with kidney six. It also affects the bladder and opens water passages in cases of urinary retention. It may make chi rise to the head to treat sadness and poor memory. And finally, it affects the large intestine and defecation in constipation in the elderly. So that's all for now. Thank you for listening. Now we go to the back transporting points, bladder 18, the liver shoe. To locate, um, bladder 18 is 1.5 June lateral to the posterior midline on the level of the lower border of the spinous process of the ninth thoracic vertebra, T9. How to find in a standing position with the arms hanging down, the spinous process of T7 is approximately on the level of the inferior angle of the scapula. From there, count down two spinous process to the spinous process of T9. Bladder 18 is located on the level of the lower border of spinous process and 1.5 June lateral to the midline of the highest point of the paraspinal musculature or use the C7 as a reference point. From there, count down nine spinous processes to T9 and locate bladder 18, 1.5 June lateral to the lower border of its spinous process. Located on the same level are do eight on the midline, a point of EXB2.5 June lateral to the midline and bladder 47, Tritune lateral to the midline. For the needling, 0.5 to 1 tune obliquely towards the spine. In clinical practice, these points is open needle traverse transversely subcutaneously towards the spine. This allows the patient to lie in a supine position during needling needle retention. The needles can be secured with tape. Potion pneumothorax. For the action and indication, um, bladder 18 spreads liberty, cools fire, clears, damp it, regulates, and nourishes liver blood, subdues internal wind. It benefits the eyes, benefits the sinews. Special features, bladder 18 is the back shoe point of the liver. Bladder 18 can be used in most liver patterns such as for stagnation of liver chi, retention of damp pit in the liver, and gallbladder. Liver fire, blood stasis in the liver, liver blood deficiency. It is frequently used to move stag stagnant liver chi, causing distension of the epigastrium and hypochondrium, sour regurgitation, nausea, etc. In resolving damp heat, it can be used for jaundice and cholecystitis. As it invigorates blood, it can be used for abdominal masses from blood stasis. However, bladder 18 can also be used for liver deficiency pattern 
such as deficiency of liver blood. In this case, it should be needled with reinforced method <clears throat> or only direct moxibustion should be applied. When used to nourish liver blood, it can be combined with bladder 17. <clears throat> when needled with reducing method, bladder 18 can be used to extinguish interior wind. Finally, bladder 18 can be used to promote vision in all eye disorders related to a liver disharmony, such as poor night vision, blurred vision, floaters in the eyes, red and painful swollen eyes. <clears throat> Bladder 18, summary of functions. Resolve damp heat for jaundice, clears heat, moves liver chi and eliminates stagnation, distension and pain of the hypochondrium, epigastric pain, abdominal pain, hypogastric pain. Brighten the eyes, blurred vision, red eye, diminish night vision, excessive lacrimation, redness, pain, and itching of the eyes pain in upper orbit. Bladder 18 also benefits the sinews, lumbar pain, pain in the neck, and shoulder muscle problems, pain in the sinews. Extinguishes wind, rigidity, rigidity of neck and spine, locked jaw, opistotonus, tetany. Nourishes liver blood, uh, dizziness, blurred vision, invigorates liver blood, abdominal masses, Stops bleeding for capping blood, vomiting blood, and no sleep. Bladder 18 is the back shoot point of the liver where chi of the liver emanates from the interior of the body surface. And like all the back shoot points, especially those of the yin sang, bladder 18 has a strong action on regulating and tonifying its corresponding sang fu at the deepest level. The principal function of the liver are to maintain the free flow of qi, store blood, dominate the sinews, and open into the eyes. By spreading liver qi, nourishing and cooling liver blood, clearing damp heat, and pacifying wind, bladder 18 is able to regulate all aspects of the liver function. The increasing pressure of the prolonged qi stagnation may easily transforms to fire. According to the essential question, anger will cause the chi to surge upward. If it is extreme, there is vomiting of blood. Since the liver stores the blood, the heat of the liver fire or liver yang may easily transmit through the blood. And given the tendency of the liver chi to rise excessively, cause reckless upward and movement of blood, leading to symptoms such as vomiting blood, nosebleed, and spitting and coughing blood. According to, to saying of Chinese medicine, the liver governs uprising and anger makes the liver chi rise to the neck and shoulders. Stagnation of liver chi <clears throat> or uprising of liver yang therefore easily lead to stiffness and pain of the neck and shoulders. If liver fire or high fever consumes liver yin, and generate wind, there may be such acute spas spasmodic symptoms such as epistotonus, lock jaw, rigidity of the neck and spine, and tetany. Bladder 18 is indicated for all of these symptoms. Thank you for your attention. Let's now talk about REN12, a front collecting or move front point. REN12, or middle cavity, Chong Wan, is located on the anterior midline, fort soon superior to the umbilicus, or fort soon inferior to the sternocostal angle. How to find the distance between the sternocostal angle and the center of the umbilicus can be divided into eight soon, which can vary considerably from the patient's fingered soon. Therefore, only proportional soon measurement should be applied here. Helpful device would be the use of an elastic tape. From the center of the umbilicus, measure either fort soon in a superior direction or from the sternocostal angle fort soon in an inferior direction. There, locate REN12 on the anterior midline or using the spreading hands technique. 
place the little fingers on the sternocostal angle and the center of the umbilicus respectively and determine the midpoint. So you, uh, this is now REM12. Um, get the midpoint of this distance by joining the index fingers. Located on the same level are kidney 19, which is 0.5 soon lateral to the midline and stomach 21, two soon lateral to the midline. Needling 0.8 to 1.5 soon vertically or obliquely towards surrounding points. Stomach 21, REM 10, REM 15. Caution, rupture of the peritoneum, pregnancy if indicated, MOXA is recommended. Actions or indications, REM 12 harmonizes and tonifies the middle burner, descends counterflow chi, regulates chi flow and alleviates pain, transforms dampness. Special features, front viewpoint of the stomach, meeting point with the uh, SI, triple burner, and stomach channels, hui meeting point of the Fu organs, and a major point for functional stomach disorders. REN12, also known as Chung Wang, is the front viewpoint of the stomach and the hui meeting point of the Fu. The term mu means to, ga to gather or to collect, and the front view points are where the chi of the Zhang Fu gathers on the anterior surface of the body. As the origin of the post heaven chi, stomach and spleen are considered to play a central role among the Zhang Fu, transforming and distributing the essence of food and drink throughout the body. For this reason, stomach may be said to dominate the Fu and the spleen, the Zhang. Close relationship of REN12 to the stomach, therefore, is further reflected in its status as the hui meeting point of the fu, in the same way that liver 13, the front view point of the spleen, is also the hui meeting point of the zan. REN12 is the principal point on the abdomen to regulate function of the stomach. The investigation into points along the channel simply states that REN12 can treat all diseases of the stomach and spleen. In comparison with neighboring points, such as stomach 21, REN13, and REN10, which are predominantly indicated in excess patterns, REN12 is equally applicable in disorders characterized by either excess or deficiency. Stomach is sea of water and grain, and its principal functions are to receive food and drink, rot and ripen them, and then descend these transformed products. Disorders of the stomach may be deficient or excess in nature due to colder heat, exterior pathogens, or interior disharmony. Whatever the etiology, disharmony of stomach will always manifest in disturbance of one or more of these functions. If stomach fails to receive food and drink, there will be inability to eat and difficult ingestion. If the stomach fails to rot and ripen and to descend, there will be fullness, distension, and pain. If stomach chi rebels upwards, there will be nausea, vomiting, stomach reflux, and hiccup. TCM methods of health preservation have long recognized the importance of emotional harmony in the smooth functioning of the stomach. The constant dissipation of chi resulting from worry, anxiety, and overthinking may deplete the stomach and spleen and impair function of the stomach. Excess of any of the seven emotions may result in chi stagnation, which then injures the stomach, leading to epigastric pain. Most injurious of all the emotions are anger, frustration, or resentment, particularly if experienced while eating. At this time, the chi is focused on the stomach, rendering it particularly susceptible to chi stagnation. In all these cases, REN12 is a primary point. In practice, epigastric pain or distension deriving from liver chi stagnation may be accompanied by pain or distension of the lateral costal region. Not only is REN12 indicated for this symptom, but the needling sensation from REN12 commonly transmits to this area. Stomach and spleen are intimately related. According to the treatise on the spleen and stomach by Li Tongyuan, when stomach deficiency gives rise to failure of the tie-in to receive what is not naturally due it, the foot yang ming mu point, REN12, will lead it through. This highlights the important secondary action of REN12 in strengthening the spleen in cases of deficiency. It is indicated for diarrhea, undigested food in the stool, deficiency taxation, postpartum dizziness, and sallow complexion. 
finally, REN12 is cited in the Song of the Nine Needles for returning the yang for treatment of collapse of yang characterized by loss of consciousness, aversion to cold, cold counterflow of the limbs and purple lips. Thank you very much for your attention. Let's continue our discussion on the accumulation or the she points. Uh, today we discuss Bladder 64, the Golden Gate Point. So Bladder 64, uh, 63 is located on the lateral aspect of the foot, proximal to the tuberosity of the fifth metatarsal bone in a depression anterior and inferior to Bladder 62 between the calcineus, calcaneus and the cuboid bone. Um, we have to note that some authors locate bladder 63 between the cuboid bone and the, the tuberosity of the fifth metatarsal bone as shown in, on the figure at the right. Um, bladder 63 is the most tender point. So how to find bladder 63? When palpating along the lateral aspect of the foot on the level of the border of the red and white skin, a bony structure can be felt approximately at the midpoint of the foot. This is the tuberosity of the fifth metatarsal point. Um, slightly proximal to it and towards the heel, we can palpate a depression between the calcaneus and the cuboid bone. There we locate bladder 63. And bladder 64 is located distal towards the toes to the tuberosity of the fifth metatarsal bone. Bladder 63 is needled vertically 0.3 to 0.5 tune. Its actions and indications include um, open the channels, alleviates pain, and eliminates stagnation as the chic left point. And it also subdues internal wind and calms the shen. As its special feature, it is the chic left point of the bladder meridian, the meeting point of the Yang Wei Mai. Like all accumulation points, bladder 63 is used in acute cases to stop pain. Judging from the indications, this effect on the, of this accumulation point is limited to channel problems. And surprisingly, this point does not have any urinary indications. However, it can be used in acute bladder patterns to clear heat and stop pain uh, for such symptoms as frequent and burning urination. But to summarize its function, bladder 63 removes obstruction from the channels in lower back ache, knee pain, painful obstruction syndrome or the B syndrome of the legs, pain in the legs, and pain on the external malleolus. This point can relieve urinary pain in acute urinary problems. The bladder 63 is the chic left point of the bladder channel. The chic left points where the chi and blood flows relatively superficially along the channels from the gene well points gather and plunge more deeply are applicable in the treatment of acute conditions and pain. Bladder 63 is indicated for sudden onset of severe shan disorder, sudden turmoil disorder with cramps, epilepsy and white tiger joint pain, a manifestation of painful obstruction characterized by the great severity of the pain, which is likened to a bite of a tiger. Despite its status as the chic left point of the bladder channel, bladder 63, like most of the distal points of the channel, was traditionally ascribed no action on disorders of urination. In this respect, the bladder channel points are similar to those of the small and large intestine and central channels, whose points also have little action on their related foo. Um, bladder 63 can be used uh, in combinations with other points for different uh, indications. So for crumping of the sinews, uh, bladder 63 can be used with GB40. For contraction and cold of the shoulder and back with P 
pain of the inner aspect of the scapula. Bladder 63 can be used with bladder 17, bladder 45, and lung 5. For bilateral deafness due to injury by cold, bladder 63 can be used with gallbladder 2. And finally, for deafness, bladder 63 can be used with gallbladder 41 and LI4. So thank you for your attention. Now we go to the gathering points. Bladder 11, the Great Shuttle. To locate bladder uh, 11, uh, this one is 1.5 June lateral to the posterior midline on the level of the lower border of the spinous process of the first thoracic vertebra, uh, T1, which with hanging shoulders on the level of the acromion. How to find, first locate the spinous process of C7. The next spinous process inferior to this belongs to T1. Locate bladder 11, 1.5 June lateral to the, to the lower border of T1 at the highest point of the paraspinal musculature. Located on the same level are do 13 on the midline, a point of uh, EXB2, 0.5 June lateral to the midline, and small intestine 14, 3 June lateral to the midline. For the needling, 0.5 to 1 tune obliquely towards the spine or transversely, uh, subcutaneously, potion, pneumothorax. For the action and indication, bladder 11 expels pathogenic factor, the wind heat, regulates the lung chi, opens the channel, benefits the bones and joints. For the special features, who meeting point with the bones, meeting point with the small intestine channel, according to some authors, also with triple burner, gallbladder channel, and the Dumai C of blood point. Bladder 11 has three main areas of influence. First, it is a point of the C of blood and it can be used to nourish blood, but not in general sense. It mostly tonifies blood on the surface of the body and particularly in the space between the skin and muscle. Therefore, besides spelling wind, it can be used to prevent invasion of wind by firming the space between skin and muscle, which it does by tonifying blood in that area. Because of this action, this point can also be used to treat allergies such as allergic rhinitis. From this point of view, the action of this point is similar to the formula Gu Shi Tang. That is, it strengthens the nutritive chi and it expels wind. To not tonify blood, bladder 11 should be needled with reinforcing method or direct moxacones should be applied. Another use of this particular function is for generalized muscular, muscular ache painful obstruction syndrome from wind. This point helps to nourish nourishing blood and therefore strengthen the nutritive chi to throw off the pathogenic factor. In relation to this point being the sea of blood, bladder 11 is also related to the penetrating vessel, the chong mai. Because of this vessel, because this vessel is the sea of blood. In fact, chapter 33 of the spiritual axis says that the penetrating vessel is the sea of blood and its upper point is bladder 11 and its lower point are stomach 37 and the stomach 39. From this point of view, this point can be used to affect the sea of blood of the penetrating vessel and it specially treats blood in the outer parts. Chronic uh, rhinitis, propensity to uh, catching colds. And the upper part of the body, dizziness, blurred vision. <coughs> Secondly, as bladder 11 is close to bladder 12, which expels wind, it also has an outward movement and expels external wind. This action is also partly related to the fact that the burning vessel extends a branch to this point. Therefore, bladder 11 releases the exterior and expel exterior wind. In a similar way to bladder 12, 
and can be used in the beginning stages of attack of exterior wind cold or wind heat. In this case, it should be needed with reducing method or cap. <clears throat> Thirdly, it is a gathering point for bones and it can nourish the bones. It is therefore used either to promote bone formation in children and prevent bone degeneration in the elderly or to treat bone deformities in chronic arthritis, bone painful obstruction syndrome, B syndrome. Bladder 11 can also be used to stimulate the descending of qi and particularly lung qi, especially in the beginning stages of invasion of wind when the pathogenic factor is on the exterior. Bladder 11 summary of function, uh, it nourishes blood, blood diseases, anemia, nourishes blood in the outer parts, chronic rhinitis, propensity to catching colds, and the upper parts of the body, dizziness, blurred vision. Bladder uh, 11 also expels exterior wind, aversion to cold, fever, invasions of wind, subdues liver young, headache, dizziness, blurred vision, strengthens bones, bone diseases, rigidity of the neck, and spine and pain in the back and scapula, lower back ache. <clears throat> uh, bladder 11 restores the descending of blood chi, calf, feeling of coolness of the chest, breathlessness. Thank you for your attention. Let us continue with chronic fatigue syndrome. This time we we'll discuss the pattern of Ian fire. Clinical manifestations, feeling of heat in the face, red face, mouth ulcers, occasionally a low-grade fever, dizziness, weak voice, depression, muscle weakness, exhaustion, feeling cold in general, loose stools, cold feet, spontaneous sweating, and shortness of breath. Tongue is pale, pulse is weak. Treatment principle, tonify original chi or the yuan chi, clear and subdue yin fire, Raise chi, resolve dampness. Points, REN4, REN12, REN6, stomach 36, DO20, DO24, DO19, REN15, heart 5, pericardium 8, pericardium 7, TB6, TB5, REN9, spleen 6, spleen 9, and stomach 28. All are needled with even method except REN4, REN12, REN6, stomach 36, and DO20, which should be needled with reinforcing method. MOXA can be used on REN4. REN4 tonifies original chi. REN12, REN6, stomach 36, and DO20, tonify and raise spleen chi. DO24, DO19, REN15, and heart 5, calm the mind. Pericardium 8 and pericardium 7, clear and subdue in fire. Triple burner 6 and triple burner 5, regulate the triple burner. It is necessary to regulate the triple burner to subdue the pathological minister fire. Ren 9, spleen 6, spleen 9, and stomach 28 to resolve dampness. Thank you for your attention.